Hello everybody, this is Sparks Comics here doing a quick top 9 picks for a new comic book day on 102120. Coming in at number 9 on my list is Daredevil number 23. This story by Chip Zdarsky has been absolutely amazing. And it looks like Spider-Man's going to be joining Daredevil in this issue, so that gives me even more reason to love it. Coming at number 8 on my list is Spider-Woman number 100. So this is the legacy numbering issue 100. And there's a lot of fantastic covers for this, including an Alex Ross cover, a Scotty Young cover, a Art Germ cover, and a Peach Momoko cover. So go and check this out. Lots of beautiful art. But the story of Spider-Woman in this volume has been really good too. So I'd highly recommend it if you haven't checked it out already and if you're a fan of Jessica Drew. Coming in at number 7, I have TMNT number 110. So this is supposed to introduce a new set of characters that you can see on both of these covers. I am not a TMNT comic reader, but this looks like this could be inter interesting and a good addition to the TMNT story. Next up, I have Fantastic Four number 25 at number 6 on the list. There's lots of covers for this one as well, and I just love that Scotty Young cover homaging Fantastic Four number 1. But of note in this story, it sounds like we're potentially seeing the return of the Watcher, as we saw happen at the end of the Empire event. Uh, the description talks about, you know, someone old returning, and so I think that might be who we're going to see return in this issue. And it's it's a issue 25, so it's a you know landmark issue for Fantastic Four for this series. Up next on the list at number 5, we have Stillwater number 2. And Stillwater number 2 is the second issue of a new series by Chip Zdarsky. So that puts him at two issues on this top 9 list that I've created. And issue 1 was a very fantastic read. I think this story is going to go somewhere interesting. And it's supposed to be a ongoing series. So this will be a good one to read in the, in the long term. At number four on the list, I have Amazing Spider-Man number 50 LR, or Last Remains. And the reason I have this one here is because everything that happened in issue number 50, I have to know what happens next. Um, this is this storyline has just taken such a good turn and gotten so very interesting that you're going to want to pick this up and see what happens next. At number three on the list, I have Scumbag number one. This is a new series by Rick Remender. I have cover A and cover B on the left, and then the 1 in 50 and 1 in 100 variant on the right. And those 1 in 100 and 1 in 50 variants are very interesting in their homage to Star Wars. Uh, but it sounds like also the cover B has been getting some heat prior to this book's release. At number two, I have Venom number 29. We are finally going to see Codex in action, and it looks like we're going to see a showdown between Venom, Codex, and Dylan. And I'm hoping in this one that means we get to see Dylan start to manifest some of his powers that we know he has, but we don't really get to see too much of. So that's what I'm hoping in this. It has a cover A, has a cover B that's a Fortnite variant. I am not picking that up. And then it has a, I believe that's a 1 in 100, but it might be a 1 in 25. Either way, awesome sketch variant by uh, Ryan Stegman. And there is also a regular cover price color version of that sketch variant that is available as well. And finally at number 1, I have Something is Killing the Children, number 11. This is the first time we've really seen this series go all out on variants. So... My bet is we're going to see something very interesting occurring in this issue, or they just realized the hype is so high and decided to, you know, profit off of it. Either way, uh, Jenny Frisson does a cover B. She also has a 1 in 25 black and white version of that cover, and there's a 1 in 100 that's an homage to the Department of Truth number 1. These are my top 
nine picks for new comic book day. I couldn't find a tenth one that I wanted to add in, but there are some more uh, events going on with the Ten of Swords storyline, so that is also something worth looking into. That is all for me for today, and as always, remember to collect what you love. See you guys next time.